Always a good time spending it with you guys, Wrench Nation. Don't forget to get on to wrenchnation.tv where, man, we're telling you the story. We've got amazing individuals uh, with their passions. Uh, and speaking of passion, motorsports spokesperson and TV personality driver, celebrity product endorser. We're going to get to that. Joe Connington, welcome. Wow, that sounds so famous. Well, this is, well, we've got to summarize this in a respectable fashion, mm. Mrs. Joe Connington. Wow, Absolutely. I got to tell you, I yeah. am just honored. Yeah, no, we're honored to, to have here you. With you. You're an inspiration to many. And I say this because thank Things could have been different for you. You could have gone a whole different route, but automotive is your blood, drive, and passion. What keeps you motivated? You get up in the morning, you may have a rough morning. How do you overcome that? Take a ride in a hot run. I love that. It's as simple as that. It is. Lately, what are you driving? Uh, depending on the weather. Well, okay. right now I still have my 40 Ford nice. that Boyd nice. built. And uh, nice. that's my girl. I mean, that's my baby. And that's what it's about. You know, we say this on the show often. It doesn't have to be a highfalutin build. It's your ride. Enjoy it. Make it you. Exactly. It can be an old rustic, patinaed out rat rod or something like a Diagostino, uh, you know, Elvis too. Do you know what, though? I think so many people have the misconception that a car has to look like a Boyd Coddington car, a car has to look like a Johnny D, a car has to look like yeah. Voodoo Larry. It's so wrong. Do you know how many people I have met in a grocery store parking lot, they come up and they comment on my hot rod that I'm driving, Sure. and then I ask them what they're driving, and if they, if they love their hot rod. Do you right. know what it is a lot of times? Subaru Outback. Yeah. And AMC. They're proud of their vehicles. They worked hard for their vehicles, and they've kind of customized them a little bit. Sure. You know? It's Everybody has a unique signature, no matter what it is. And that's why we're going to get right to this whole car culture thing. I ask a lot of our guests, you know, recently we had, of course, Tommy Solera with the Car Show Safari. And I asked Ruby, his daughter, millennial generation, all the... 100 million lines of code under hood, mechanics are freaking out, we gotta look at waveforms and all this fancy stuff. Is car culture going away? Heck no, hashtag fake news. What does Joe Coddington say to that? Technology is here. Technology is here. I think we're going to have to adapt to that as far as being mechanical. You're going to have to have a little more tech savvy than what you had back in the day. But you know, I mean, I started wrenching I, I, I slept on a sure. creeper with a That's fender it. cover as a blanket. Yeah. So I don't think it's going to go away. It may change just a little bit. But, you know, I was just watching the kids in the back at this engine competition. And there's still the passion. There's still the passion. Yeah. It's not going to die. I don't think so. I think it's hashtag fake news to the umpteenth degree. Mrs. Joe Coddington. I really, I feel that. I do too. But, you know, you have, one of the things we talked about off air here is that we choose to do the show at the East Valley Institute of Technology. I work a lot with Tech Force Foundation. I know mutually you do a lot for the industry that way. And, you know, there are some parents that believe, you know what, automotive, especially for the ladies. I think Tech Force says there's 52% of the women out there. There's only, what, 4%. Because it comes from maybe some parenting that believes, you know what, you can't do that. What would you tell a parent about exploring for their child? And do letting you know, them... I would like for them to sit down and just listen to what my mother said to me. I didn't play with dolls. My sister did. She was a cheerleader. I wasn't. I wrenched with my dad. I played with wrenches. I would clean his wrenches. I would clean his parts. That was my thing. And I think I was um, maybe in junior high, and the girls made fun of me because I had all the grease stains in my hands. That was pre-gloves and pre-being clean, being a mechanic. And I cried, and I said, Mom, what's wrong with me? I, I love to do this, and all the girls make fun of me. And she said, you know, honey, whatever you want to do, you can do in life. And do you know, they had the first man on the moon. Why can't it be a woman? Mama's inspiration for you. Always. Mom was huge. She was a very um, strong, strong woman, kind of independent. Um, but 
my dad let me do whatever I wanted to with yeah, welding a support and everything system. Else, so. Yeah, we tell we tell both the ladies and and the young guys out there, you got to stick with what even if you fail. That's a whole other story, Who cares? right? I mean, I lately I've been on this thing where it's all about courage. You can you can succeed and you can fail. You can succeed and you can fail. But what's the that middle ingredient? Ingredient it's courage. We got to stay courageous with what we do. You've been courageous over the years. You've done a lot of things, and I just want to say your legacy moving forward. You can go back in the past, but you're pushing the envelope. You're representing, and that's phenomenal. Because again. You could go a different direction. Does Joe Coddington need to be here at this car show? Absolutely, I do. This is my and life. This is my breath. Look at all the people. Yeah. There's so many ages from kids to people in like the little scooters. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, but we all share one thing. And Put us in government, energy. Joe, is what I say. <laughs> yeah. We'll straighten it out. Yeah, exactly. Aero Detail Products. You have an amazing relationship with that group of great Fine people. I am. Um, you you do the car show tours, of course. SEMA. What's Aero Detail Products about for those that may not be familiar with it? Well, International Aero Products. Our CEO Jonathan Saltman started out with airplanes. So every Gulfstream that left Gulfstream had Aero Products on it. He also builds planes for Shaw's Sheiks. Wow. You know, all of that. He's even done some heads of state. So, in my opinion, Jonathan was kind of like the Boyd Coddington in airplanes. Wow. Because some of the things he did was amazing. But he always had he always had a passion for cars. He painted his own Corvette, which he still has in the warehouse. And I think it was 15, 17 years old he painted this car. Wow. Well, he had to come up with these cleaning products. Mm. Because, have you ever seen a garden hose in an airplane, washing an airplane? So, I don't know. I think he was one of the forerunners with the waterless car wash. Right. I see your website, uh, and you guys check out joecoddington.com. Of course, joecoddington1 on Instagram. Did I get that right? Yeah. Yes, you did. Um, you can certainly shop on, on the, online, joecoddington.com, for the product. Let me give you a little background how International Aero actually got me. One of our customers, Gil Losey, we did the yellow Boydster. Okay. It had the yeah, yeah, yeah. Real light yellow carpeting mm. and uh, light yellow leather. He said, I go, Gil, how do you keep this thing so clean? And he said, Joe, have you ever heard of Spot? And I said, like, see Dick Run? <laughs> see Spot? <laughs> said no this company makes this product and it's called spot and it will get anything out and i go really he goes yeah let me take you over and introduce you to the guy so okay so i met my boss mike hansen and i told him that i had some cabernet that boyd had spilt on an antique rug i sent it to the antique rug cleaner in la came back spot was still there so i thought you know and then after that Boyd had passed, so I thought, eh, it's supposed to be there. These uh, things are supposed to happen. Yeah. So, <clears throat> well. I told Mike, I said, if this spot gets that Cabernet out of my antique rug, I will be your spokesperson for the rest of my life. Did it, it come up? did. It well, came up. Wow. And then I had to make a phone call and tell them, I love your products. That is awesome. But um, I really do. The small, yeah, you're, you're test driving, you're uh, using... Yeah. You're not, yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, how many products we see, it's like, okay, that was just a, a deal. Does it really work? And that's cool. That That's part of passion. You can't fake it. I love it. That's, that's awesome. And, and, you know, I want to go back just a little bit. Sure, sure. Um, you know, the kids that you talk to and that you reach out to in school. You know, I started racing go-karts when I was six years old. And I made it all the way up to where I got a 300-mile-an-hour license. Wow. So, nothing is impossible. Follow your passion. Female, male, I don't care. Follow your passion. Stick with it.